Does that make any sense? Hi, I'm Harper. We're taking a little break from the kitchen today in order to focus on the grammar part of pasta grammar. As everyone knows, Italians tend to talk with their hands a lot. I've spent enough time around Italians that I feel like through osmosis I've picked up some of this sign language. But we realized recently that no one's ever actually told me exactly what some of these hand gestures mean. So we thought maybe it was time for a lesson. So Harper, uh, let's play a game. I have to guess. All right, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty confident. As we go through some of these hand gestures, let us know in the comments below which ones were completely new to you or which ones you knew before. Check out my new glasses from today's video sponsor, GlassesUSA.com. I've been needing some new glasses for a long time, so I got a couple pairs, and Ava got something pretty cool too. I'm jealous of your sunglasses. Okay, you guys can help us settle a debate. Which looks better on me, sort of thick, chunky glasses like this, or some wire frame thin glasses like this? Imagine all the people. By cutting out the middleman, GlassesUSA.com offers over 9,000 prescription glasses and sunglasses, including in-house brands like Muse and Amelia E, and designer brands like Ray-Ban, Oakley, Gucci, and many more, at up to 70% off retail prices. You can shop for all your eyewear needs online at affordable prices, starting at only $30 with basic prescription lenses included without leaving your home. They make it easier than ever to find a pair that you will love. You can start by taking their handy Dandy quiz. It takes about a minute and based on your needs and your face shape, it'll help recommend a pair just for you. Furthermore, you can use their virtual try-on tool. By using your webcam, you can actually see in augmented reality what the glasses will look like on your face before you even buy them. Anytime I've had to buy new glasses, the most annoying thing has been like finding my prescription. Maybe I've lost it, maybe I don't have one. They have an app that's free and it will actually scan your old pair of glasses and figure out exactly what your prescription is. We love our new glasses and we think you will too if you go check out glassesusa.com or you can click the link down in the description below. So Alper, ready for your first gesture? Yes, let's do it. Like that? All right, well, we're off to a very Italian start because of course it, it seems like it has to do with food. I'm gonna guess this is like uh, like the Italian nonna going like, manja, you're too skinny, manja. More than an order, this is an invitation. You use this when you want to invite someone to eat something. Oh, do you want to eat? Do I get a point for that? I was close. Not really, because uh, it's not that at school uh, they give you a good point uh, because you are close to the right answer, or yes or not. Sometimes if your teacher's cool, you get an A for effort. I'm not a cool teacher. <laughs> Gesture number two, Harper. This, I have some context to help inform me because you've always used this when you're talking about pasta, spaghetti, and so what I know this literally is, is a, you know, it's like a fork twisting some spaghetti, but I feel like the actual meaning of this sign is something else, like I doubt it's just a sign meaning spaghetti. This means spaghetti, Albert. It just means spaghetti. Spaghetti. How many times in Rome they say, and uh, guys, Famose du spaghi. It is, means due spaghetti. And due two spaghetti? You just like, want to eat two two spaghetti? No, for us two spaghetti means a plate of spaghetti. So then, can you string these together and make a sentence, sort of like, "Hey, let's go eat some. Do you want to come eat some spaghetti?" No. With me. I could just do that to someone across. So the room. maybe they didn't say it with me. <laughs> Who has American. two thumbs and due spaghetti? <laughs> This guy. And then, Harper, after you invite someone to eat your spaghetti... You shoot them? No, shoot this like that. Like this? 
I've seen this one, and I've seen Mama Rosa do it a lot. And I feel like she did it in the context of food, but I don't really have any idea what it means. I mean, to me, this just looks like, like two pistols, like we're in a Western or something. But I don't think that's the meaning. No, Advil. This Advil means that uh, there is no more. It's gone, it's finished. Like spaghetti. No more, if you Like we're out of it? See. Let's go eat some spaghetti. And they were like, it means we ran out. We don't have any more spaghetti. spaghetti. <laughs> oh no. Please, Mama Rosa, can I have some more? And she, and she would say, goes, That's why I've seen her do this so much. Non ce n'è più. There isn't any She's more. trying to tell me. <laughs> you You've eaten gone. all of our food. All of our food. There's no more food in town, Harper. And then Mama Rosa, if this is the case, they will say, she will say to you, there is no more, Harper. See, if I didn't know this, this to me, because it feels very, like, final, this to me feels like, we're out. There's no more. You've, you've hit the end of the spaghetti road, Harper. No, Harper, this means that right. we don't have more spaghetti. Right. You ask for more spaghetti. Mama Rosa said that there is no more because you eat all her food. And she said to you... This means you're gonna have to eat Hot Pockets. She's sending you away for her home. Oh. She said, uh, Harper, go away, go oh. back home. I'm glad that I haven't seen Mama Rosa do this one a lot. I've seen her do this one a lot because I eat her out of house and home, but I haven't seen her do this yet. It is always time. I like too how she's gonna watch this video and not understand any of the English and she's just gonna see you and I doing this. <laughs> she's just gonna hear a lot of Mama Rosa, Mama Rosa. <laughs> Tranquilo, Mamma Rosa. Tranquilla, Tranquilla Mamma Rosa. Rosa. Non è per te. So we wanted to go eat some spaghetti, but there's no more. So Mamma Rosa tells us to get out of town. And then, Alper, uh, you could answer to Mamma Rosa. Oh, does this mean I? have a very smart idea. And I'll ask Ava to make more pasta because we're out of spaghetti. Does this mean like, I have a, I have a genius idea. I know what I can do. I can eat bucatini instead, hmm. Right now, Harper, I'm imagining all the Italians listening to you doing this, so they are just laughing. <laughs> Why, what does this mean? Because this means that you're crazy. That I'm crazy? See. I'm crazy? No, it's like like when you do this, you're telling to the other people that she. I'm saying is. you're crazy. You are crazy. You're crazy. I'm not gonna do that to my Marosa. <laughs> you're crazy. Because There's definitely I'm... more spaghetti. I know you're hiding that spaghetti somewhere. There's gotta be some more spaghetti in this house. What are you nuts? So Alper, I bet that you saw this. Oh yeah, classic. So that is what. Every chef for a local Italian restaurant does. Come on down to Papa Bodanza's Deli. And I assume that, <laughs> I assume it means, or I've always assumed it meant, like, delicious. The food is good. It's Ar yummy. Harper, you assumed the right because this means delicioso. Magnifico. Magnifico. Then also, Harper, this can be used not just for food. This can be used for everything that you made and it was perfect. A very uh, good job. I always thought it was just a food thing. So if Mama Rosa looked at me and went like, I could be like, no, I'm... And she would say, hey, no. <laughs> You can also... That's another one I've seen a lot. I've seen you do it a lot. It's a very elegant move. I really like this one. So like, cause sometimes you do it fast, but also sometimes you're like, mm, and you just kind of slide it in. I feel like this is, cause it has a kind of finality to it. And if you're following this up from this, does this mean maybe like it's the best? So this is like, it's a perfect, but this is like, it's the best. This means perfect. 
I thought this meant perfect. Both means perfect. They both mean perfect. <laughs> but they can be used also together if, uh, I don't know, like... Uh, pasta. Double perfect? <laughs> pasta alla norma that is made al bacio can be also perfect. It's perfectly perfect. And then upper. Does it matter which hand you use? You had to think about it. Yeah, but I didn't study the Italian gesture. <laughs> you just see like, which one feels right? Which rib feels right? My clothes don't fit. My pants don't fit. My pants are right here. Yeah, which pants don't... do you have? <laughs> Ones that don't fit. They go up way too high. That has nothing to do with pants. Okay, actually, in Italy, depending on where you are, it can have two different meanings. So one is, you're hungry. The other one is that maybe there is a person that is not very, very nice, it's very, very boring, and you can't digest that person. You can't digest them? Did you eat them? You can digest easily in a very good way something that is proper made. Like the hot pocket, <laughs> you can't really digest. So it's something that you have always here, so I have here. But the hunger thing, that sort of works with my pants thing. It's like my, my pants are too big because I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten in so long. I need to manja. I need to eat some spaghetti because I'm hungry. <laughs> but all the spaghetti is gone. I'm almost fluent. <laughs> And then uh, we have... Uh, Again, does it matter which shoulder? Is it like salt that has to be over your left shoulder? No, it yeah. can be... It can be either? It can be also like that. Like this? I feel like this is like, that's in the past, that's gone, that's behind us. Forget, forget about it. Now, Arpir, this has something to do with the past. But it, it means also like a lot of time ago. Like, for example, when I was young... I'm hungry. Spaghetti is finished a while ago. Bravo, Arpir. You see, you start to create Italian language. Grazie. Is there a hand sign? For grazie? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's one for spaghetti, but not for thank you. <laughs> oh, that's one I know. I feel like probably a bunch of you guys are gonna actually know what this means, and maybe I'm just clueless. But it's always, I feel like it's always been in a quite negative context, and uh, I feel like I can't really say it out loud. I've always interpreted it as a, a very strong, like, screw you. Like it's a pretty bad thing to do to someone. No, I bet. It's not the most kind of Italian gesture. No, but it's not so bad as you are saying. This means that uh, you don't care, you don't want any more. Oh, or I don't just, care. Or just no. It's obvious that if in a friendly situation you don't do this. You do this when you are very, very angry. Mm -hmm. So if I come to you, you are mad at me, I come to you and say, Arber, do you want a piece of tiramisu? And you are so angry that also the tiramisu can't make you feel better, you would say, can you give me a realistic scenario, though? Can you imagine me being like, I don't care about your Tarabi Sue. Harper, can you wash dishes? There we go. Before we spoke about a person that you can't digest. <laughs> yes. So sometimes the person that you can't digest is because... They're talking a lot? That I understand. Yeah, this means blah, 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 blah. And do you know how you can respond to that person? <laughs> you can also say this. <laughs> you can also say this, but maybe you can say also this. I'm gonna squeeze... Ugh, this is getting... You like the cheese? Yes, I like the cheese. What makes the milk becoming cheese? 
Rennet. And what Rennet? Does this mean Rennet? Albert, follow I'm me. I'm gonna Rennet you, you hard to digest person. So Albert, what does the Rennet to the milk? Uh, it, it solidifies the liquid into solid cheese. And how do you call it that? Uh... Caglio? So this means quagliare. So which means that if you are talking too much, just don't oh. talk, go to the point. A little less of this. A little more of this, okay, buddy? And then Harper. Like scissors? I'm gonna assume in this context it means like, like, uh, cut it short. You're talking too much, you're not getting to the point, cut it out. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> this Fellini movie is boring, let's... You said that best things about Fellini. Uh, if I were you, Time to milk the goats. You milk the goats like this? These goats doesn't make milk like that. I haven't seen any shepherd in my life milking a goat like that. <laughs> I have seen this and I feel like it's always done in a very taunting manner. Like right up at someone like, mmm, mmm, you're a goat milker, aren't you? Thing, uh, I repeat, uh, there is nothing to do with the milk. <laughs> anyway, this means, uh, are you scared? Oh. Paura, are you scared? Some sort of right, it's a, it's a little bit of a taunt. What are you scared? What are you scared? <laughs> you see, did you see the face on her? It was a very taunting, mm hmm. I think I should get a half point for this one. No, Arpero, we are always zero because you said that that's the shepherd milk you got. Yes. Uh, terrified. <laughs> Extra scared. I this is like, are you scared? And this is like, are you really scared? Because you should be. Because when you milk the goat like this, it's gonna kick you. This is a meaning, but this is another meaning. For example, Arpel, follow me. Usually, a very good restaurant is... Expensive? Full of people, crowd, oh, crowded. crowded. That's weird. So you could be like, let's go eat some spaghetti at that restaurant. No, it's full of people, and I'm scared of crowds. This is not I'm scared. <laughs> it means you are Okay, scared. then you go, it's full of people. What, are you scared of crowds? <laughs> no, I'm scared of... <laughs> you don't say to yourself that you are scared. I'm scared. scared. <laughs> and for this, uh, I hope that you really remember, keep in mind every time that you were in the south of Italy. This gesture is... Uh, very, very calm. Sometimes we do this even if you don't see this. Okay. Oh, that's intense. It can be like one, or it can be also like... Also your face when you did that. <laughs> can we get an instant replay on that? Knowing what I know about the South, I'm gonna assume this has something to do with Superstition. I'm thinking this because it seems kind of. Mm, it's kind of like paura. You do it at someone. Paura, paura, paura. Uh, I sort of feel like this is like cursing someone. I curse you. I curse the ground you walk upon. No, Albert. No, we are I hope not Jupiter so. Jupiter strikes you with lightning. We are not so bad in the south of Italy. We don't curse people. Now, we believe in the south of Italy that uh, in the world, can exist a person. Can be bad, not just good, but they can be also bad. I don't think that's just a southern Italian thing, but okay. I think a lot of the world believes that people can be bad, but okay. <laughs> In the south of Italy, we believe that they are bad because maybe they are jealous of what you can be, who you are, who you can have. So when you meet this person that you know he or she can be jealous, and she or he starts to talk with you and said, ah, 
might have heard that you are going in this place. I hope that you will have fun. And you're deep or in the pocket of your uh, jeans or whatever. You do like that because you are trying to send away the bad luck that that person is trying to give you. Oh, uh, so it's defense. not putting bad luck on someone. No. It's sending it away from you. Kind of like our knocking on wood. If you say something you want to happen and you worry that by saying it out loud then it won't happen, you'll knock on wood. Have you ever seen anyone do this behind my back? As long as chess, but... She has to think about it. Now after that you did this, I think that you should know another one. That it's deeply attached to the Calabrian people. Oh, what could this have to do with Calabria? In this moment, Harper, be sure that all the Italians who is watching or are watching us, they know what I'm saying, what I'm talking they do? about. I have literally no idea what this is gonna have to do with Calabria. Calabrian people is very kind, kind welcoming, yes. yes. warm, all the rest. But they are also very, very stubborn. Oh, yeah, that makes total sense. So this means, uh, how do you say, capatosta? Hard-headed. Stubborn. Stubborn. And actually, in Italy, we have a sign. Same. Same. No. Actually, maybe also sign. I was like, sign. Also sign that they should put <laughs> when they arrive. We are there. extremely, welcome to Calabria. We are extremely stubborn, but we will also feed you very well. Do you want to come eat with us? We're very stubborn, but the spaghetti is perfect. We have this saying in Italy, uh -huh. and we say when you are very, very stubborn that you have a Calabrian hat. <laughs> Testa di calabrese, which means... <laughs> the next one is something that I'm pretty sure you saw me doing a lot of time. Yes, I've seen you do this and probably a bunch of pasta grammarians have seen you do this. But especially when you're talking about like a certain pasta and a certain sauce, you might say rigatoni and fried eggplants. So it means like coming, going together, like something can go together well. Bolognese ragu and tagliatelle, they go together. Two things made, made to for each be other. together. Nice. It can be tomatoes and eggplants. <laughs> tomatoes and eggplants. It can be, I don't know, like tomatoes and mozzarella. Tomatoes and spaghetti. Tomatoes and anything. <laughs> one hand is always a tomato. The other can be anything else you want, but one of them has to be a tomato. No, because it's... <laughs> I get a point for that one, don't I? See, I've, yeah, lost, I've totally like lost track of the points. Am I winning? I don't think so. No, I, I doubt good. it. And then, Arper, finally we arrive at the most famous Italian gesture. I think I know what you're talking about. Do Is it. it the one that has its own emoji now? Do you want to do it? Yeah. No, Arper, one and. You can't do both? No, because it has another meaning. Oh, one. goodness. It has a different meaning? We will talk later. One end. Okay. I didn't know that. I'm already off to a bad start. I thought I was going to ace this one. Like this. Yeah? What does it mean? First, I'll tell you what I always thought it meant before I met you. I thought that this meant, hey, I'm Italian. <laughs> Like, like just, it's just something you do when you're Italian. I'm Italian. I like meatballs. Sorry, I'm not trying to be offensive here, but that's what I thought it meant. Just like anything related to being Italian or Italian food or Italian, really anything, you would do this. But now I've seen you and other Italians use it a lot in context. It's always pretty negative. Like you never do this when you're happy. You're never like, that was an amazing dinner. I've never seen oh, you do that. That pizza was amazing. It has no meaning. You always do this when you're maybe a little, a little annoyed, a little ticked off. I assume that this means sort of like 
I don't know, kind of like that. Like I'm annoyed, like you're fed up, exasperated, frustrated. I saw a lot of people, they put in the emoji like that, or they in doing on the social media in general, just because there is something about Italian, and all this, all this. Now, as you said, frustration, yes, but when you're angry, for example, very angry, very mad to a person, at a person, and you say, what do you want? It's not that this pizza is amazing. Ah, oh, wow, this pizza is amazing. It's like, but when look at me, if I'm mad at you and said, Alper, what do you want? So I was sort of right. You wouldn't say it, what do you want happily? Like if the male, you know, if someone knocks on your door, what do you, what do you want? want? It's like maybe if they've knocked on your door three times, what do you want? So it's a little bit more than I thought. I thought it was just like, oh, I'm ticked off. I'm annoyed. What do you someone want? put pineapple on my pizza. And so then if you go with two, I'm assuming from what I learned earlier that this doesn't mean, what do you really want? So when you do this, it underlines uh, the bad aspect of this. So by adding the second hand, you just double the rudeness. See, the second hand is the bad word of <laughs> this. Okay, I, I get it. Say no more. I think we all understand. Guys, we hope you enjoyed our literal pasta grammar lesson today. Let us know in the comments below which ones were new to you. We'll be cooking away again next week, so if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Click that little notification bell so that you get notified every time we release a new video. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Before we go, a quick shout out to a pasta grammarian in action, our very good friend Johnny Z, who made some amazing looking Sicilian arancini. Bravo, Johnny. If you try any of our recipes, tag us on social media. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, at Pasta Grammar. We'd love to see what you come up with. Al per. All right, I'll get to the point. We'll see you guys next time. Ciao. Ciao. A big thank you to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring today's video. Visit the links down in the description below for a special offer just for our viewers.